quite, uh, I had a, a dead optical mouse and uh, decided to tear it apart. And I thought I would uh, educate you guys on how optical mice work. Um, so there's, there's basically two main components. One is a light source um, that shines light on the desktop, if you're going to mouse on top of your desktop. And then the other is a, a detector. So light comes out, bounces off the whatever, the mouse pad, and then it uh, enters the detector. So, well, what is the detector? Um, so here's a photograph of the, the, this chip here, and you can see uh, there's a section where there's a, a, a square array. Um, it's, it's 32 pixels by 32 pixels, and then the rest of the chip is processing. So it's a digital camera. It's a video camera. Um, and it's, it's a very, very fast uh, video camera. It's running at a very high frame rate and a 30, 32 by 32 pixels. So as you navigate across uh, a surface, it's taking pictures of the surface. And it takes one picture and then you move and it takes another picture. And then it sees these two pictures shift and it does a, a matrix correlation on these two images and, and it figures out a motion vector. So it gives you a direction and a velocity. And uh, um, that's the way they work. Uh, so they're, they're, they're a fancy digital camera and uh, they have lots and lots of processing to determine uh, this uh, velocity factor and angle and stuff. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of good science went into that thing. But what I thought I'd talk about today is the optics in it. So there's this weird plasticky shaped thing here. Um, you'll see this in a lot of uh, a lot of mice. Kind of a little pointy thing here, and there's a little hole there. It looks kind of weird, all right. And that actually sets that actually sets right here. And then there's an LED. So here's the light source. It's a separate little PC board, but it just has just has a single LED. And so the LED sits right here, and that's the way that's the way it goes, right? So uh, here's a picture of what's going on. Um, so here's the LED, and the LED uh, has a lens on the out of the LED, so the light kind of comes out a little bit parallel. And then it's going to go into this angled light pipe, okay? And uh, I think it's something better to point with. I've lost my pointer. Uh, anyway, I'll use this. So, uh, let's see, I need something black, because this is, yeah, there we go. So this, this angle here, okay, is, is, this, is this angle here, okay? So there's a curved surface on the input, and then it's just straight walls, and the light bounces around. So it basically translates the light. So it comes here, and then it, and it kind of shoves it up. Okay, that's what it does. It kind of bounces around in here and it shoves it up. And uh, this actually thing, this would actually be used. This is the uh, upside down. This would be the desk, and then the light would come in here and bounce, bounce down this. So let's just leave it this way because it makes more sense. Okay, so the light comes in. It goes through this light pipe at a funny angle, and then the light comes out here at at a at a very uh, sh shallow grazing angle. Um, and then there's a separate little lens here. And uh, that is kind of hard to see, but it's this tiny, tiny little lens right there in the center. So a little, little bitty, bitty, bitty lens. And that lens is just an imaging lens for the, for the camera sensor, okay? And so the camera takes a picture of the, uh, of the surface. So this is, this is basically a camera here, and then this is the illumination, which is a, a grazing illumination. And so why do you want a grazing illumination? Well. Um, the way that the mice work is they rely on a rough surface. So microscopically, if you look at paper, uh, paper's going to have uh, little fibers, okay? And there'll be these little fibers on the, on, the, on the surface of the paper. And if you bring light in at an angle, you create little shadows. And then those little shadows can be seen by the picture, okay? If you just brought light straight down, you wouldn't see much. Um, but having this grazing angle, it casts these long shadows due to the fibers and stuff in the paper uh, or the roughness of the mouse pad or whatever. You need this gra grazing light. And so, yeah, so this, is ca this causes the grazing light. 
and then this is the little camera lens, and this is the 32 by 32 array that goes into a big chip that does all of the uh, uh, image to image to image uh, image uh, correlation, and it determines the uh, direction it's going and the velocity it's going, and it's predictive as well, and makes sure everything's working good and things. Um, there's a bunch of other buttons, you know, you have left left click, right click, and all those other things, but those are real boring. Um, but this is uh, probably uh, maybe new to some people. Um, the idea of this grazing angle, and uh, it's actually a uh, it's actually a, a video camera. So if you're ever asked what has the most photographs ever taken of taken of it, it's your desktop because. <laughs> All the mice all across the world are taking thousands of pictures per second of desktops. <laughs> They're really, 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 really boring. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I, I used to work in a group that built things like this, and uh, we actually had so hackable software, and we could go into the sensor, and we could actually look at the images coming out of the sensor, and we could get a little 30, 32 by 32 picture. <laughs> of the data coming out here. I forget how many bit it is. Um, I don't think it's ones and zeros. I think it may be like a four bit gray pattern or an eight bit gray pattern or something like that. But uh, yeah, but they're not much. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the way it works. LED, grazing angle, little camera, there you go, all you need.